Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson on how to soundproof on a budget. So if you have looked into wanting to keep sound out of your home studio or keep sound in, then this is the video for you. And if you're also just looking for some ways to soundproof a room because you're tired of noisy neighbors or something like that, this is for you as well. I have come up with a system that will help you soundproof your room on a budget. So. Let's dive in here shortly. Before we jump in, there is a free resource I wanna recommend that will help you on this journey, and that is my free soundproofing budget calculator. This calculator will help you see some of the costs with building a soundproof studio in your house or in your backyard, and you can check that out at soundproofyourstudio.com slash calculator. That's soundproofyourstudio.com slash calculator. All right, let's jump in to this lesson on how to soundproof on a budget. So I am a big proponent of soundproofing, not on a really small budget because I want to do it right the first time. However, so many people ask me, Wilson, is there some way that I can soundproof my room without spending thousands and thousands of dollars and without doing tons of costly construction with the annoyance of having to rip down walls, tear things out. And I have devised a system that I think will work well for trying to reduce sound that could come in and out of your room, focusing on the two most critical points in most rooms, which is the door and the window. So assuming that you have windows in your house, in your room, then I'll teach you how to soundproof those. And assuming you have at least one door, obviously, coming in and out of your room, I will also teach you how to soundproof both those things on a budget. So let's start, first start with the door. So the first thing you're going to need is a solid core door. This is usually something you will not have, so you're probably going to have to replace the door. You can tell if a door is hollow core by just tapping on it and hearing how it reverberates on the inside. A solid core door is a solid piece of wood, has no hollow inside, and it's very important that you get that because you need the mass of the solid core door. So that you can get at any big box home retail store like Home Depot here in the United States. And I looked that up today and it's roughly $118. So we're gonna start with that, $118 for a solid core door. The next thing you're gonna need is some weather stripping. So the other side of soundproofing is making sure that your door is airtight. So in my studio, we use Frost King weather stripping, which is nothing special. It's just normal rubber weather stripping that you can put around your door to try to cover up any holes where air could get through and therefore sound could get through. So Frost King weather stripping varies in size and also in price, but anywhere from about four to $16 is what you could probably expect to spend on weather stripping. So you can get various sizes. I'm not going to recommend any one size, although we did use the three quarter inch on my door, but you're going to have to experiment and make sure that you seal it up. The way you know if your door is airtight is that when you close it and turn off the lights in the room and then shine a bright light through the door on the other side, if you can see any points where the light is coming through the door, then you still need to apply weather stripping to make sure that it is airtight. The bottom of your door is going to be a little more complicated. You can't just use Frost King weather stripping on the bottom. I highly recommend um, spending a little bit more money to get a Zero Industries drop seal bottom door seal that will attach to the inside of your door and it will seal the bottom of your door. And Zero Industries is known in the soundproofing world as being one of the best in terms of its acoustical properties. So the Zero Industries 36 one AA um, is what I recommend here. And as I checked today, it was roughly $109.03. Now you could stop there, but I do recommend adding magnetic weather stripping. I find that this does help with that final seal. And to do that, you can buy some regular old magnetic weather stripping off Amazon. And I checked that today and it was $42.47. And then you're also gonna need to buy some metal flashing so that the metal, the weather stripping will attach to the wooden door. Since the wooden door is not metal, obviously, we're going to need to add some metal around the perimeter of the door um, so that the weather stripping can attach that. You won't need it on the bottom because your drop seal will be good enough and uh, you won't need weather stripping there. So I looked up some metal flashing on Home Depot here in the States and you can get the amount you need for roughly $52. 
Now to attach the weather stripping to the door and also to make the metal look kind of nice, you may need to get some wood trim. Um, you can see here in my door how we attach the magnetic weather stripping around the outside of the doorway and then use wood trim to make sure that the magnetic uh, rubber weather stripping was attached there and sealed up so you don't really see it. And we also use some wood trim around the actual door to hold the metal flashing in place and make it look a little cleaner. So if you do add some wood trim, that'll add a little bit more cost and that will come to around $20. Again, from Home Depot, you can look it up at whatever your home uh, tool supplier is in your country. So the total cost of your new soundproof door would come to $239.50. If you add on the potential for some shipping and tax, it'll probably be more in the ballpark of $260, or you could even round that up to like $275 to be safe. So this is still a cost, but it's so much less than you would spend on a full soundproofing job. And I think that having a solid core door that's fully sealed and airtight will go a good amount of ways with reducing the amount of sound that's coming into your room. Now let's talk about the windows. So there is an option for doing what is called a window insert to help with reducing the amount of sound that's coming through your window. So I'm just gonna do this example with a five foot by three foot window. There, your windows may come in different sizes, so your cost may slightly different, but this is one of the standard sizes for most homes. So what I recommend doing is using plexiglass, which normally with soundproofing, I would never recommend plexiglass, but because we're on a budget here, this is the cheapest type of see-through material that you can get. So there's two types of acrylic or plexiglass, and I didn't know this until doing a little research, but there's cast and extruded, and it turns out that cast is a little higher quality and costs a little bit more, and extruded is a little cheaper. So I went with the extruded cost because I figured what we're really going for with the plexiglass is trying to get the most weight possible. So this means you wanna buy the thickest plexiglass you can afford, and that's gonna give you the best soundproofing. I think the quality of how you see through the glass for these purposes is maybe not as important. Although if you wanted to, you could always upgrade to the cast plexiglass if you have the money. Now I did a little research here very quickly. Um, I found a Nashville supplier that could provide up to one inch plexiglass. Um, I did some research saying that you could potentially find four inch thick plexiglass, which would be very heavy. Uh, it also seems like it would be cumbersome to work with and probably very expensive. So I'm gonna do this example with one inch thick plexiglass, which seems to be the standard thickest plexiglass you can get. Again, if you can afford thicker, I highly recommend going that route because the more mass you have in the plexiglass, the better your soundproof window insert will be. So for one inch thick plexiglass, I found it to be as of today with this video, the cost was $488.33. So this is the single biggest cost you'll have is getting this heavy sheet of plexiglass. But like I said, it's worth it. Don't try to go thinner on the thickness because you probably won't get as good results. Now you're going to want to measure this plexiglass perfectly for your window because what we're going to do is just put the plexiglass into the window area and have a little bit of an airspace between the actual window and your plexiglass. And the way that we're going to seal that up is actually using an item called a baby bumper, which if you have children, you may have used these, but you can find baby bumpers on amazon.com uh, very easily. And I checked the price of baby bumpers today and they are $20, I think you're gonna need to buy two for like 96 inch uh, length to fit around, or maybe it comes in 60 inch length to fit around to uh, your full window. And basically baby bumpers are great because they're meant to go on the edge of sharp things. Uh, and so your plexiglass window should be great. You could glue in the baby bumper to the plexiglass around all the edges, and then that will create a tight seal into your window uh, and squeeze it in there. So you might wanna measure your plexiglass um, so that it has a little bit of a give so that the baby bumper could fit in there as well. This is a DIY method that I think will work actually really well um, for creating a soundproof window insert. There are two options, easier options than what I just said. If you wanna go the DIY route, but spend maybe a little bit more money and not have to like source the plexiglass and all the doors uh, materials I just said, there's two options. So for your door, I found a 
cool door uh, kit for soundproofing your door that was through Acoustic Solutions. I'll have the link below um, for that. And the cost of that was $324.74. So a little bit more than the cost I came, I came up with with doing it yourself, but close enough where if you just wanna do one-time order, it's all done. And I think actually their product may even work better than what I recommended, because you're gonna get some better seals around your door and you'll have less material. So that's an option if you want to. And then also for the window inserts, there is a company that builds these window inserts um, for you. And that might just be a little easier than having to find plexiglass and make sure it's cut right and get the baby bumpers and all that stuff. Uh, they're the Indo inserts. I know from a friend who reached out to them, they are around like $600 to per window. So uh, a little bit more money, but you know, the plexiglass uh, window also costs a lot. Um, so you can weigh your resources there. Again, the total cost of the plexiglass window when you're doing it yourself was $508.43. So you could save maybe a hundred bucks each way by DIYing it completely yourself versus paying for a custom kit package. All right. So I want to say a quick disclaimer that what I've told you here today will help reduce sound coming through your windows and your doors, which is usually the weakest link in a room, but it will not quote unquote, soundproof your room to the level where you're gonna have a professional studio like I'm in right now. So to do that, you do need to go the full distance in doing that. And that's why I teach you all about soundproofing. But I wanted to give you a option if you're on this budget to try something that could help uh, maybe give you a quieter room. Again, if you have noise coming directly through your walls or noise coming up or down from your ceiling or floor or noise traveling through your HVAC system through vents, uh, this will not necessarily help with that. But that said, I hope it is a solution for some of you out there, and I thank you all so much for listening on our podcast or watching. Leave comments below about questions you may have about this. I try to answer them as best as I can, and stay tuned for another video. Again, if you want that free resource, which is the free soundproofing budget calculator, you can check that out at soundproofyourstudio.com slash calculator. That's soundproofyourstudio.com slash calculator. I will see you all next week.